At 8,000 meters, your body begins to die, slowly, silently, and painfully. This zone, called the death zone, isn't just cold. It's a place where oxygen is so thin, your brain and muscles start shutting down. Climbers suffer hallucinations, confusion, and extreme fatigue. Even simple steps feel like dragging your body through quicksand. Your lungs gasp for air that isn't there, and your heart races to keep blood flowing. Without supplemental oxygen, you risk high-altitude cerebral edema, where your brain swells inside your skull, or pulmonary edema, filling your lungs with fluid. Fingers go numb, frostbite creeps in, and many collapse without warning. Some sit down just to rest and never get back up. The human body simply isn't built to survive at that height for long. That's why every minute in the death zone is a race against time, and why most deaths on Everest happen just below the summit, when climbers are weakest and rescue is nearly impossible. One misstep or delay can turn victory into a silent tragedy.